Hi everybody, David Dilling from Marksburg here. Wanted to get this video out right away here. Excuse my messy desktop, but these are the kind of emails we love. I obviously removed a lot of information from the email and put it in a text file here. But dear sirs, you did help me a few years ago and I need your help again. Well, number one, we are glad we can help someone again, hopefully, and as you'll see, we surely can. I have a few InDesign files I cannot read because I don't have the right version of InDesign file. Number one place we can certainly help. I like to open them using Illustrator. Second place we can certainly help. And number three, I'd even like in parallel to convert them into PDF files. Believe it or not, third place we can help all from one application. What should I do in or buy? And of course, uh, we have some good news for Robert. That's with our application ID Marks. If I just open up that standalone application right here, you see the Let's Get Started window. You can also do File Open, and it's particularly for InDesign files. ID Marks. We have other tools, PDF Marks for PDF files. That's currently PDF DTP. It's going to be PDF Marks very soon. And we have QXP Marks for Quark Express files. Now I'm just going to take a test file here and we'll drop it on the interface. And we'll get me out of the way. So what you see here is we get an overview file info on the file and we get a complete preview of the file. So we know, okay, this is file we want to work with before going further, for instance. The preview is the best case um, possibility. It's there only to help people get an idea what the file will look like. It'll convert much better than the preview at certain times. Anyway, this is the file we want to use. And number one, Robert asked for, I need to open up this InDesign 2021 file in a lower version. That's a big problem for a lot of people. That's easy with Mark's Race. Click Export, IDML, and you can even choose to open a specific version of InDesign. So in this case, we're going to choose 2020. It could be CS6, could be CS4, doesn't matter. 2018, whatever it might be. You click export. It creates an IDML. A lot of people just export the IDML and manually drop it on the InDesign version of their choice. Whatever you like to do. In this case, I like to keep it automated. It's going to export and automatically open right up in InDesign for us there. So now we have this file in InDesign. We can get to work. We can adjust things as needed. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That's number one. Opening the design, higher version, a lower version. Number two, Robert asked, "Can you actually open that in design file for me in Adobe Illustrator?" Unbelievable, but yes, we can. Right here in our interface, just click "Open an Illustrator," and off it goes. Click a few little buttons, and there we are. We're now in Adobe Illustrator with that same file. And now we get in there and. Text, text, I don't know how you say it in Swedish, but this obviously just a test file. Uh, we could take like, um, we take like this objects here and resize them, for instance. If that was what the customer was after or what, what they need to do, resize stuff, I don't know why they need an Illustrator. But in any event, you see, InDesign to Illustrator with a click, amazing. And the last request, Robert had was, I'd also like to do with all the other stuff. Is it even possible? Probably not, but can you make a PDF out of that same InDesign file I got in? Yes, we can. Once again, you go to export. Instead of IDML, you can choose actually just exporting text stories or as in, in individual image files, but choose PDF. And you can even open in specific applications, system default in this case. Uh, you can even keep transparency, et cetera. Export, off we go. And this is amazing because I've heard from customers, they've searched high and wide for a standalone way to make PDFs out of InDesign without InDesign. We have InDesign here, but you don't even need it to do this. Boom, off it goes, PDF, same file, now in a PDF file for us to view or share with our colleagues that don't have InDesign. So if you also need more information on Marksware's ID Marks, cruise on over to marksware.com under products, you'll see the ID Marks product. You click on that, you'll come to this web page and you'll indeed see unparalleled conversion opportunities or abilities as it says there actually. Um, check it out, it's a new product, it's going really fantastic, it's really exciting with affordable options and it really is a way to even fully automate your workflow in many cases. What you saw there can be all done automatically to transform your InDesign files into completely new different files. We even have quick look previews available on the Macintosh where you can actually do a space bar and get a preview of your InDesign file without opening it. InDesign to InDesign, InDesign to Illustrator, InDesign to PDF, all three customers' requests handled with one affordable product. You can own it too. See marksware.com 
And this is David Dilling from Marks. We're signing off and wishing you a fantastic day.